Let's do it. We are going to create or calculate the expenses bill using the formula of the spreadsheet. We are going to create a formula here. Okay, click, click the equal sign. Always use equal sign in creating a formula. Then click this K shape. Then arrow to the left to the cell you want to you want to you want to multiply. So thirty five is the number. So if five times so use the K shape shift then asterisk. Then, then arrow to the left, shift, arrow to the left, shift, arrow to the left, then highlight the cell you want to multiply. So D, column D, then row 5. So, kaya mayroon siyang D5 because of the column D and row 5. So, click the enter sign. And see the answer is 70 and the formula is being highlighted here in the toolbar if x function so this is now your formula okay here is the formula and we are going to change this 24 to like example 30 type 30 so see see the result so it changed to 180 so big why because of it is already the formula has already created so it is the cell automatically computed the given values hmm. Okay, ando muna natin. Okay, back to 144. Okay, another is, how could you add this one? So, we're going to get the sum. So, just click this upper portion and drag this. The cross sign will appear and you are going to drag that. Yan. Just click this and this one. Oh, okay. then stop. Oh my God, value. It's okay. Can I cut? Can I cut? Because my wrong words. Ito dapat ang wag nyo sa mahan ng words ang number. Because it's value siya. So to get to add this portion, we're going to click this and the cross sign will appear. Just drag it this and until the empty box and click the sum so the total is 379 pesos total expenses okay, then.